The Volkswagen Polo has been around for decades now and cars don't last that long by being rubbish. The Polo has always sat on or near the top of the Super Mini class and the latest version is no exception. It gives you all those traditional Polo attributes, quality, desirability and a grown-up driving experience, but it also comes with more gadgetry and cleaner engines than ever before. Volkswagen's designers are famed for their conservatism, and that is certainly the case with this car. But with conservatism comes a certain degree of sophistication and smartness, and that is exactly what people love about the Polo. Yes, the features are simple and the lines are very conventional, but if you look harder, there are one or two interesting creases in the bodywork to jazz things up a bit, like these ones that run down the bonnet, and this one, that beefs out the doors. If looks really matter to you, then you probably want to avoid the entry-level S-Trim because that version doesn't get the alloy wheels, the colour-coded bumpers and door handles, or the chrome grille trim that this car has. And as you progress further and further up the trim range, then the looks get smarter and sportier. It's on the inside of the car where the Polo's smartness and sophistication really hits you though. This cabin is quite simply lush. The materials are dense and touchy-feely, while the switches have a really nice, slick, substantial action. Again, the design is pretty conservative, but that only adds to the Polo's grown-up character. However, the best thing about the dashboard is that it's really, really simple. All the switches sit exactly where you'd expect to find them, and this six and a half inch touchscreen that comes as standard on all but one model makes using all the infotainment systems really easy. Compared with other Super Minis, the amount of space you get inside is kind of fair to middling, but there is enough room in here for four adults to sit in comfort. And the boot is another place where the Polo does a decent job, but without going the extra mile. Space is kind of reasonable at 280 litres and it's a nice square shape. But if you go for the S model, you don't get a split folding rear seat or this removable boot floor that flattens out the step in the load area when you fold the back seats. For that and many other reasons, we recommend SE as the trim to go for. It provides all the kit you want but keeps purchase prices reasonable. That running theme of conservatism is also reflected in the way the car behaves on the road. Unlike most of its rivals, the Polo makes virtually no attempt to be sporty or exciting. Instead, it's content to just concentrate on being comfortable, refined and easy to drive. And it's all the better for it. Granted, that does mean that the Polo is never going to thrill you in the same way that a Ford Fiesta can, but not everybody wants that. Importantly, there's no road surface that it can't deal with in a comfortable, civilised way. And the cabin stays impressively quiet and serene at pretty much any speed. The engines really help on that score as well because all the ones we've tried are impressively quiet and smooth. The one in this car is the one that's most popular with buyers and it's a three-cylinder, one-litre petrol with 74 brake horsepower. As well as having refinement on its side, it's also just about perky enough to keep most buyers happy. It's also pretty economical, returning almost 60 miles per gallon, and it makes the Polo affordable to buy. But if you've got a bit of extra cash to splash, you might want to consider one of the turbocharged 1.2 litre petrols. They're much pokier and much more flexible than the smaller engines, but they do return similar economy. It's no wonder that the Polo is so popular when it has this level of all-round ability. It does a good job in every single area, and in some of them, it really excels. Comfort, refinement and quality are where the car scores particularly highly. And when you throw in the car's desirable image and competitive ownership costs, the Polo looks very tempting indeed. Mm -hmm.